for those of you who've already become members and for those of you who are, who are looking to become members. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. So I've got this PowerPoint presentation and as I um, you know click on through, I'll go ahead and describe what you're seeing on the screen and read through some of the different passages there that will explain what is going on with Forsage, the first ever 100% decentralized matrix project. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right on into it. And let's talk about decentralization first. So what, what does decentralized mean? What are the advantages and what are the benefits? Decentralized marketing is created with an automated contract that offers the maximum security and sustainability. A smart contract is an automatic execution algorithm. When it exists within the Ethereum blockchain, the number one cryptographic currency among those with which smart, contra smart contracts can be created. Smart contracts like cryptocurrencies are decentralized. They work strictly according to the underlying program without the possibility of subsequently changing the defined execution of the contract. The code that contains all the logic of the contract expiration is on the blockchain and all calculations are provided by millions of computers all across the world. So this ensures that there's no risk. Well, hello, hello. <laughs> Let's, uh, if, you, if you don't mind cutting your mic off there for us or Perhaps, I guess I can do that manually myself. Let's go ahead and mute all. So let me continue on here. Uh, now again, as I was saying, this ensures that there is no risk of the smart contract being hacked, all right? And stopping our beautiful Forsage project. All right, so let's keep it moving, we'll move on. So how does Forsage matrix marketing work? Now, keep in mind that when you are coming into this project, you are going to be entering into a active side and a passive side. So two sides at the same time that work um, together, that work at the same time parallel. You're earning income from both sides at the same time. All right. So and again, it is a closed system without deadlines for the slots with a limited number of places in each income stream. The slots could be considered income streams um, with an unlimited amount of reinvest or recycling the perpetual uh, round and round of these income slots and the referral link that you use is fixed to the person who invited you and so you always follow your superior partner um, into the income slot that they've activated so in as you can see here on income slot one and uh, or rather in x3 on income slot one here there is one row all right so there are three spots in that row one two and three and on four side four we have two rows uh two places on the first row and four uh, places on the second row all right and so we'll get into that and explain how they work and as i said before they do work simultaneously generating income and the money does instantly go into your ethereum wallet without having to wait there is no manual withdrawal so that's a you know a real nice uh aspect and an attractive part of this uh, program so as you can see there are 12 income slots on each of the programs all right so you have a total of 24 well perpetual recycling income streams that are um you know as you progress through them they're going to be continually working and again if you get all the way up to uh, the 12th income income slot on each program then you you're effectively running 24 income streams all right so uh, as you can see here uh, i'll read through this uh, in each of the two programs forsage x3 and forsage x4 there are 12 slots and they do work um, in the same way they work similarly and in the same way so each uh, subsequent slot is double it's two times more than the previous slot before so as you upgrade and move through you're going to be paying double what the previous income slot was and how many slots can be activated immediately well they can all be activated um, they do need to be activated uh, chronologically right so that you're going from in income slot uh, one to two and then to three and then to four you can't just jump for example you can't jump from income slot one 
up to five without purchasing the income streams um, previous to that. Okay. And again, as I said before, uh, there is no expiration date. These do continue to cycle without ever failing, right? So again, you essentially uh, endlessly, we've got someone drawing, I <laughs> got a little streak here, sorry. Uh, but anyway, so we do have, uh, you know, this is perpetual and it doesn't ever end. Okay, so as long as the blockchain exists, you do have your membership here with that particular income slot that you've opened. And as I said before, they do work together parallel. Let me go again, we've got some new people that I perhaps need to mute again, mute all the new incomers. All right, so again, moving on, let's talk about the registration. All right, so the registration, again, you're going to have to spend 0.05 Ethereum, all right, to come into this thing. And that is divided into the two programs, which we already talked about. So again, as you move into income, uh, well, the income stream one on X3, it's going to be 0.025 Ethereum, which is about $4 of Ethereum. Actually, I think we did have a, a slight drop just recently. So it's a little bit less than $4 uh, to go into um, the first here, as you can see, first income slot on X3, as well at the same time uh, on X4. So again, when you come into this, you do buy both slots at the same time. As I said before, it is going to cost you 0 0.05 Ethereum, which is basically the cost of entry. It's going to be your your ticket to become a member, right? So that everyone who comes into uh, Foresight, they do have to pay that amount. All right. So let's continue moving on. And let's talk about Forsage X3 so people can get an idea about how it works with this one. So Forsage X3, as I like to call the, the active, um, where we are actively bringing in referrals, whether you're sharing this with your friends, your neighbors, your co-workers, uh, whoever it may be, that you're actively bringing in partners, right? So uh, all the partners in your slots here are known as your personal referrals. And with that, you are essentially are filling up these slots uh, yourself actively, right? So as you can see here, the movement of these slots goes from one, two, and three, um, and you are receiving 100% of the income instantaneously, again, into your uh, matrix, or rather into your um, Ethereum wallet. Now, on the first, as it says here, your first referral partner takes place underneath you, again, receiving 100% of the payment into your personal wallet. Uh, the second referral takes place underneath you as well. Payment also goes instantly into your uh, wallet. And again, that third, what it is, is essentially you're paying your sponsor, your superior partner, um, to reactivate that income stream. All right, so again, you are on the third cycle. You're going to, and it happens automatically. It does work in a way that it reactivates your income stream, um, whether or not it's the second, third, fourth, fifth, the process is the same. All right. Now, so if they if they do have an income slot um, or rather a place open, it will fill, as you can see, the appropriate income slot. It could be the first one. It could be the second one or it could go to the third slot, which would recycle. Um, and then that payment would then actually go up just like it is for you. It would go up to uh, their superior. All right. So, again, this is how it works with Forsage 3. Uh, let me check on these questions and see if there's anything important important questions all right yeah and again we will have a Q&A at the end of this um, quick overview so keep that in mind so if you guys who do have questions um, we can just save those for the end and we will get all those questions answered for you so moving on as I or sorry let's click to the next slide so let's talk about x4 so as I said before, there is uh, two rows with six actual place places within uh, these two rows. So in the first row, as you can see, you see an arrow um, in place one and two, which means that those payments will actually go to your sponsor, to your superior partner who you are linked to. Now, it doesn't always work out that the payment may, it may end up going to uh, someone else because the payment actually um, it does based on how the matrix is uh, filled up and filled out for your superior and their superior and so on and so forth. That payment may actually fall into another slot 
And we'll talk about that during the Q&A and we'll give you guys an example um, because the dashboard is interactive where you're actually able to click onto that box, that income stream box, and we can watch uh, and to find out where exactly that payment uh, decided to go. All right, so, and again, the way that it works out is for, again, it goes in order from one, two, three, and it actually jumps over to the right side for the fourth place, and then back to uh, five for the, back to the left for the fifth spot. And then again, it fills up that last circle, as you can see there, number six, which starts the cycle all over again, just like it does for the Forsage X3. So again, this is where we have this perpetual recycling, um, well, income for that, whatever particular income level that is. It could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all the way up to 12. They all work the same. All right, so again, that's a, this is how X4 uh, is, is going to work for you. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the reinvest. Um, which we've already talked about, but we'll talk about it a little bit further. So again, the reinvest or the purchasing uh, of your um, income stream, that whatever slot that that might be, you do, again, keep in mind that the payment, uh, you do receive that 100% payment, but it goes in as a reactivator, which basically you're repurchasing the slot from your superior partner again, okay? Uh, the reinvest opens the same slot for you again and you continue to receive income from it without reinvestment this slot would close and that would be it so uh, again you do want to make sure that uh well, well we'll talk about the upgrading here on the next slide um because there is a situation where after two of these cycles if you haven't purchased the next income stream uh, what will happen is the payments will begin to go up to your each uh, or each of the even the first second and third payment would actually go up to your superior partner. So this is why it's, it's really important to upgrade because we have people that um, kind of tend to stay at one level, um, but it's definitely recommended that we upgrade to continue um, to make sure that you're able to continue to earn um, for that particular income slot. So uh, again, as it says here, you know, basically similarly, you your referral partners um, will, well, hang on, sorry. Similarly, your referral partners will have reinvestments and you will instantly receive income every time. All right. So as we, um, again, make sure that this is active, it will continue to uh, perpetually, as I said before, earn without fail. All right. And that payment does go instantly into your Ethereum wallet. All right. So let's talk about the upgrade and how this works and why it's important because um, some people without knowing it, you know, may not realize that they are missing payments. As you can see, there's a lost profit right here. Um, and this profit essentially means that you, uh, well, your upline, your, your sponsor, they will have actually received that payment um, from the, let's say you have a referral and they want to end up uh, upgrading. And if you have not opened up your next income slot before they move to that next income slot, then you actually would not receive payment for that. It would end up going to your superior partner. Um, so again, uh, let's talk about this real quick. Um, or actually, let me go ahead and we've got some new people that need to mute. Got their kids in hand, which is great to see. Hang on one second. Let's go ahead and mute all participants again for the newcomers. All right, so let's keep it going. So again, as we said here for the upgrading um, is the opening or the purchase of the next slot of uh, more expensive level of a more expensive level. And the payment, um, the payment goes to your superior partner, as we said before. So when you purchase that next income slot, you're essentially buying, um, again, a license to that next income stream. All right, and that license to play uh, effectively, just like as it does before with the other income slots, allows you to uh, continue to earn income at that particular level. And we'll we'll even discuss the actual values of each of the uh, the income slots and how much you would earn for each person that comes in at that slot. Now, subsequently, there is enough income to or from each slot to reinvest into the same level. Actually, let me, that's some new people coming in. Let me mute. <laughs> These newcomers again. 
Now it does so happen that again, keep in mind that, you know, on, let's say for level three here, or rather on, um, if this is X3, that your first, second payment and second payment will be enough to upgrade to the next spot. So this is why it's definitely recommended to do this early on um, so that you make sure that you don't miss any payments and that we will, you know, that you will continue to earn for that particular income slot and that you don't miss any payments. Um, say, for example, if your partner does, uh, or rather you have a referral who decides that they want to upgrade, they can follow you to the next income stream without you missing a payment. Now, and again, that third payment, right? So one, two is enough to upgrade to the next income slot. And the third payment is enough to start the process all over again so that that income slot that you're currently at will continue to recycle, okay? Um, now, it is your decision. It's your, you can decide whether or not to purchase the next income slot or not. But again, keep in mind that if you don't, um, as I said before, you will find yourself in a position that if your partner decides that they want to upgrade and you don't, um, then essentially you miss the payment and the payment will go up to uh, their part. I mean, well, their superior um, or your superior. And if they also, if their superior has not uh, upgraded, then the payment will continue to move up until it finds um, a place that is actually open, whoever has actually opened up that uh, income slot. And we'll show some examples of that. It may seem a bit confusing right now. Um, but again, when you see it on your actual dashboard and you click on to the, I believe it is uh, the statistics and you can see where the payments, you can actually click on the slots as well too, uh, the income stream slots, and you'll see there'll be, uh, and again, like I said, we'll show examples of this here in a little bit where you can see these type of, uh, well, icons that again, explain that you either lost a payment or that rather you've received an extra uh, profit from one of your referrals referrals. All right, so again, lost payment, payment left to a higher partner due to the lack of an upgrade to a more expensive slot, the extra payment, payment received to you at the expense of lost profit of a lower partner. All right, so I hope that is clear for everyone and we will talk about it again uh, in the Q&A. And so again, as far as the overflows and the overtaking and the returns, um, so as you can see that, let's look at this, um, let's see, we can call this a legend of the different um, types of partners that are coming in. So on this color here, on the teal, I guess, color, that would be your personal partner. Because keep in mind that when you invite someone into the program, they do enter both programs at the same time. So again, you know, they may take that first slot if it's not already filled up on your, um, let's say on, on the X3 and then X4, or rather this would be X4, that, that, that they would take whatever available open slot is, is open. It, it might happen to be the first one. It might happen to be the fourth one or fifth one here. And you know, it's, they can fall into any place. And then the light colored uh, overflow uh, is someone who's personally invited or a personally invited uh, partner of your superior. They may fall also into a slot here uh, and, and it fills up accordingly, again, as the matrix fills out. And you can see the next uh, blue circle overflow from below, uh, personally invited partner of your downline. And then as we can see here, this last one is pink. Uh, and it, this represents a partner who has overtaken uh, his superior. All right, so, and again, the overflow, the way that it works, it, it can be a little bit confusing because again, there are a variety of different um, ways that this plays out, but we'll talk about that again and give some examples during the Q&A. But this is an example of how your X4, which is again, the team build, where you have multiple, not only your own partners coming in, but you have a mix of people from either um, your superiors or rather from uh, your own downline and their referrals. All right, so this is how that ends up filling up the matrix of uh, X4. All right, so let's continue on. Now, let's give some examples of some real time. Um, and of course, these have dropped a little bit. Like I said, the markets of crypto are very volatile. So it can be up, you know, at one moment and then the next moment it's down and so on and so forth. But 
these are pretty close to the current value of Ethereum. So as you can see here, uh, 0 0.025, like I said, it's roughly $4. Uh, or yeah, 0 0.025 is roughly $4. 0 0.05, uh, again, which is the cost of entry to get into this, uh, is roughly $8. So it really is only going to cost you, I think it's actually less than, and it is less than 7 or less than $8 right now to enter into uh, Forsage. So again, it's very attractive for many people because we have people coming in from different income levels, right? That uh, this may be something that is a lot more approachable to get into and to start effectively start a, a business with this um, for only $8. So you have to really consider all of the other programs that are out there that you know may not be a, a decentralized situation where you're having to throw money into something and you don't know uh, if the platform or if the, um, you know, the, the situation of, the, of that business will even be there, right? So, and of course, um, with this one, we know that it's on the blockchain and that it is immutable and will be here for as long as the internet is around. It, and that, ladies and gentlemen, that is most definitely the way that this thing works. So keep that in mind. Um, and as you can see, as we move up through the different levels, again, um, it, it's moving up pretty good. We go from $4 and then on the sixth level or the sixth uh, income stream, you're making 0.8 uh, Ethereum for every person that comes in. So that's roughly, um, well, on the fourth level, you'd actually be getting in, uh, well, basically four times 128, right? So that's a nice sizable amount of income coming in um, and so on and so forth as we move through up to level 12. If you're getting in payments uh, of, for example, 3.2 Ethereum, that's $500, uh, $512 at you know the current value that Ethereum is right now. That's a pretty nice um, payment coming in. I mean, that can take care of someone's rent uh, and a variety of other bills that you may have. Uh, and this is perpetual. And again, keep in mind that it does continue once it once it's reactivated. Um, so there's no burning out of the program. Let me do another mute here. I think we have a few more people that have hopped in. Mute those mics. So again, uh, like you said, or like I was saying, as you can see, this gets, as we move up, this gets pretty interesting to see the type of income that we're making at these levels. All right. So, and again, keep in mind that that's happening on both X3 and on X4. And again, with X3, it is the active side that you bring people into yourself personally with your affiliate link. Um, and X4 is the passive side. So it's nice that you are in a position. On a passive side. Hang on again. We got someone out there on the scene <laughs> watching out, look, dodging cars and stuff. All right. So again, um, you have to keep in mind that, you know, both of these programs are working together. So you really, this is an amazing, platform with respect to the amount of um, earnings that you can get uh, continually without it without it stopping so let's move on and get to the recommended um, start option all right now this is because you know as we already talked about there's a variety of uh, spillover activity that happens on particular x4 now for example if you only come in and open up income slot one and income well if you only come in to income slot one right paying the 0 0.05 ethereum then you miss out on all of the potential spillover coming from above and from below all right so um i've had examples of people who've come in uh to my uh for example that well they actually in this case it worked out in that their first income stream without actually upgrading yet filled up uh on x4 and they were then able to upgrade to, to the second slot um, just really through spillover. So spillover, it doesn't always happen that way, but in some cases, depending on the type of team that you're in, on the kind of activity that that team is producing, you may get those slots filled up without even having to refer anyone. But again, it's recommended that you do open up these slots because um, you are in a position to earn uh, each time right, as whether on X3, whether or not your referrals come in and they continue to recycle as they get in other people. Um, likewise, definitely on X4, the passive side, 
uh, the further and you know, of course, within your comfort level, the further up you are, the more chances you have for spillover um, and to receive those payments that are coming through of 0 0.1, 0 0.2 Ethereum, uh, 0.4 Ethereum. And once these continue to cycle, again, you're earning a pretty sizable amount of uh, money. Now, Ethereum, again, you know, we'll talk about some uh, ways to be able to convert your Ethereum into fiat so that you can use this uh, payment, these payments for a variety of things that you might need to use it for. All right. So, and again, the total cost, if you were to open up um, the first three income slots on X3 and the first three on X4, you're, yeah, and on X4, you're looking at a total of about 0.35 Ethereum, which is around, I think, $50 or so right now. So, and another thing to keep in mind that Ethereum is very undervalued right now. We just went through this uh, you know, economic collapse, so to speak, and Ethereum also took a huge hit. Um, just about maybe two, three weeks ago, Ethereum was double, roughly, what it is right now. So again, it is ideal. This is an ideal time that if you're on the fence about upgrading, you definitely want to do it before Ethereum shoots back up to $300 you know, per Ethereum again. Um, and of course, I've seen Ethereum at levels as high as $1,800 for one uh, Ethereum. So, and again, it's very much likely that Ethereum will be shooting back up um, when these markets start to get healthy again. All right, so I just wanted to show a quick example so that people can see, because um, we can talk about a few things here that happen um, within, it could be anyone's situation. Now, this person here, uh, whatever their ID, 2544, they actually um, have brought in only four partners. All right, so with only four partners, they've actually earned $1,200 of Ethereum, 7.425 Ethereum, which is a pretty good amount of, of Ethereum. And, and if you, again, if you want to look at it in dollars, um, that's, you know, it's a pretty decent amount of money coming in with only four partners, right? Now, out of those four partners, we actually had a part, they had a partner, uh, 7515, all right? Now they came in and they didn't waste any time at all. They came in and decided they really liked this program. And as you can see here, uh, which we will show examples of this when we show the dash dashboard examples uh, during the Q&A, that uh, on X3 and X4, you can see here the statistics of these partners, um, well, their second partner, or rather their first partner came in and upgraded to level three on both. Their next partner came in and upgraded to five and four. Um, and then their third partner didn't really upgrade much. They didn't upgrade at all. They're only on uh, income slot one, but their fourth partner coming in went all the way up to income slots 10, all right? Now, because apparently this person is moving in and doing a very good job of uh, rather referring people over or building their team. This person has come in and already made $18,000 worth of Ethereum. All right. So that completely uh, blows the argument of this being a, a pyramid because a lot of people coming into this, you know, will uh, immediately, you know, throw the argument of, Hey, this is a pyramid. I mean, people, you know, if you're not, um, you know, the only people making money are the people who are at the top, well, you can see that this person's ID, because again, keep in mind, the member IDs are chronological. Um, well, 2,544 um, compared to 7,515, these are at two very different times um, that this last partner here came in and they've already earned $18,000. All right, so definitely something to consider um, and to explain to people who do uh, raise that argument, which oftentimes they will. And um, yeah, this is an example just to prove that right away that that isn't the case. So um, let's go ahead and we'll just finish up and wrap it up here. And before we get on to the MetaMask and Trust Wallet, which you will need, those are applications um, to interact with a smart contract. Um, so MetaMask is a desktop or a laptop uh, for PCs so that you can do your well, you can do your business from your laptop uh, with MetaMask. Now, it's an identical situation with Trust Wallet, uh, except that it's a mobile situation. You can use Trust Wallet on your mobile phone and really just be on the go. I mean, I'm on the go a lot of times dealing with Forsage and 
um, looking at whatever it might be, uh, the activity that's taking place uh, via my cell phone. So, you know, this is something that you can do on the go or wherever you have your uh, desktop or laptop. All right. So let me go ahead and move into, I'll actually show first where to go. Let me close out of this and get right on over to know this is also the new landing page, which is very, very beautiful, I must say. This is, uh, well, perhaps Lotto is also on the line. We'll let him explain what this new website is based in, uh, what they call interplanetary file systems, um, if I'm not mistaken. But first, let me show right for people who do need to, or if you're not already familiar with uh, MetaMask, uh, what you need to do to download MetaMask. Uh, now, MetaMask is available on both Chrome, uh, Firefox, and also on Brave Browser. All right, so if you can see here, if I were to click onto Chrome, which I'm actually using Chrome, and I normally, and I really have only used uh, Chrome, Chrome extension. This is just an example of how to get Chrome extension, and this will get you to the point now they do have videos there that you know I definitely recommend uh, taking the time to watch the videos and find out how to interact uh, or how to get uh, MetaMask on over and it is very reputable I mean MetaMask is the standard uh, for PC in terms of interacting with these smart contracts so now I, I already have mine loaded you know into my Chrome browser so um, I don't want to remove it but this would say for you to either install onto your Chrome browser, uh, something to that effect. Um, but that is how it works with MetaMask. So just type in, again, metamask.io. Yeah, let's, uh, yeah, there we go. So metamask.io. And let's get on over to Trust Wallet. Uh, Trust Wallet, the uh, URL is trustwallet.com. And yeah, I mean, again, you can see just an example here of what it looks like on mobile right now. Of course, uh, I don't actually have the ability to show um, in terms of how Forsage will look, but effectively it's just gonna be condensed onto your phone uh, the way that other websites when they you know, are condensed onto a phone uh, would look. Um, now, yeah, you can download this on both uh, iOS and at the app, Apple Store and for Android devices uh, with Google Play. Now, uh, let's go ahead and see. Let's open this up. And we'll get now into the Q&A portion. Or actually, one more little thing here. I do want to go ahead and talk about this next, um, or the new, what will effectively be your landing page. When you put in, this is my referral link here, actually. Now, I've put that in. And what it does is it brings me to a, um, I guess we can go through the process for people who, are, when you're signing up, yeah, let, let me go ahead and run through that because most people are curious about what the actual process is if you are either um, signing up your first time or if you're giving your link out to someone else, how would it work? All right, so again, this is my actual referral link and I do have my MetaMask open already. Now, I actually have multiple accounts, uh, which you can do, you can create multiple um, accounts in, inside of MetaMask. I have multiple uh, MetaMask wallets. So with that right here, this is actually an empty wallet, but let's back. Well, I don't really need to back out, but if I were to sign in where it says login or sign up, I'm going to go ahead and hit sign up. And that should bring me to the page that most of us are familiar with, with Forsage, where you can see it says automatic login, um, forward slash registration. Now, because I don't, now I don't think that, uh, yeah, I don't think I've, uh, if, if I've logged in, be careful not to come here because sometimes people will put in the referral link there or they'll put in a number ID there. Um, if you are registering, you're going to hit this green button that says registration. Let's click onto that. And you can see, now this is my user ID. Um, so that would be right. And you can see there uh, inside of the arrows, it says confirm. When you click on to confirm, that will bring up your MetaMask wallet. Actually, you may need to come over here and click on it. If it doesn't pop up on its own, then it'll be here at the top uh, with a number in indicating the transaction, which does have to be done uh, manually by you. So um, as a security measure, I mean, every 
transaction that or rather payment it does have to be confirmed by you now of course i don't have any ethereum in that wallet at the moment so you know of course i don't have uh, the ability to uh, to confirm this payment but in the case that if you ha have your wallet already funded you do simply come over there um, as i've already shown the steps here and this will be a blue button it's in light blue you can slightly see where it says confirm click on that give it a few seconds uh it will it will then go into the the payment mode where uh the payment needs to first be confirmed on etherscan and after about a minute or so then i would say back out of uh the screen use the uh, back button and go back one screen and once you do that let me go ahead and actually go to my account that is open. Now, I'm going to reject this transaction since I'm, this is just an example just to show. But let me click on to my Power Team account. Now, when I click in, it's guaranteed to take me to my desktop. Boom. So as you can see there, now this is my personal account. Um, and again, this is where, you know, some of the things that I talked about where you can uh, interact with a variety of things. This, this, use, this dashboard, this user interface is fantastic, <laughs> I have to say. Kudos to the developers, uh, Lotto and friends who, are, who put this together. Um, but anyway, so you can see the amount of, the total amount of participants, uh, the amount who've actually joined in the last 24 hours. This actually represents the amount of Ethereum that has gone into, um, well, that have, that's been paid out to members. All right, so 13,792. It's roughly uh, $2.5 million already in the last two months that's been paid out. All right, so keep that in mind. Let that sink in a second. Yes, this platform is paying out some big bucks. All right, so it's definitely working. And another point to make uh, that I always like to show people let me click on my first income stream here and we can see where some of these payments again where i've shown or as i was saying before in the presentation you can see where payments have come in where the reinvest have happened uh, as we move down as we move down as we move down those are all personal referrals now if i click on to this box and arrow this will actually take me to uh ether scan where all of the the action is going on all right now one little thing to show here is the contract itself and to make the point to people that think that this contract is you know where someone can run off with your money there is no money that ever goes into the contract all right the, the contract doesn't accept money it's not a function of this particular uh smart contract so that's something to keep in mind when sharing this with other people and explaining to them that all of the money that ever goes in is allotted to the person that it's supposed to go to all right so this is the contract this does show for people once you become more familiar ah, with Hoppa. contracts oh sorry let me go ahead and mute welcome welcome though um so but anyway so again this does prove that this contract it doesn't even accept ethereum okay so there's no money being siphoned off or there's no money going to the to uh, developers on the side. This is exactly the amount of money that has ever gone in and it never will accept Ethereum, okay? So um, with all that said, I think that I have pretty much proved um, the case for Forsage and why it's something that you most definitely wanna consider seriously um, with respect to earning passive income. So I'm gonna come on up to the uh, participants here and see, and I'll actually, if you want to, if you have a question, um, then by all means, raise your hand and let us know. Um, you can go to your chat box, and I think that there should be an option to raise your hand, um, and I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. Um, hang on here. Uh, and how to convert to fiat. Uh, now, there are some options to do that. I mean, again, some uh, people may have something like Coinbase or there are other, um, and, and for example, there are debit cards, Visa debit cards that you can effectively um, 
use for uh, fiat purchases. Um, and this is, you know, that's, there are many different ways. It depends on where you are uh, with respect to how you convert into, um, you can convert Ethereum into your um, local currency. Let me go ahead and bring up our, hang on one second. I'm going to stop my screen share here so we can bring up the where are all our people here hang on a second yeah sorry you guys i'm like i'm just trying to bring up the actual uh boxes because i'll just try to continue sharing my screen and with the questions and yeah sorry you guys i'm not i'm just trying to bring up the actual uh boxes here but i'll go ahead and just continue sharing my screen the block card they have block card usa block card is great and with the questions that you if you have again like i said just go ahead and leave them here in the um, chat box yeah block card they have block card in usa block card is great that is uh yeah they've been around uh turnio is the company for that we've got lotto here he's drops this here coinbase.com localbitcoins.com luna yeah that's also another one uh, in africa it's pretty well known um, right here it says from um, Adrian, what happens if the signups will slow down? What's the final purpose of the platform? Um, we're helping someone, some business crowdfunding. Um, now, what happens again, it, it essentially if someone doesn't uh, upgrade, and I guess that's what you mean when you say slow down, um, they will effectively, their, their income stream will actually uh, go into a pause mode after the second recycle. And if they don't upgrade, um, then essentially the payments from there will move up to uh, perhaps you if, if it is coming, if you're in a situation where your personal referral hasn't upgraded after two cycles, what happens is they'll come, uh, the payments will end up coming up to you. Hang on one second here, we've got a few more questions it seems. Hello, this is the best smart contract in the world for you. Um, well, it is for me, <laughs> and it is for many other people. Um, so yeah, you guys can look there in the chat box. I'm trying to bring up the actual video feeds. It seems that I guess I can also share. Oh, there we go. Here's our videos. There we go. I'll put this there on the side for people. So we can see who it, who else is out there, the lovely mugs of folks. This is me, by the way. Hello, everybody. Let me continue answering now. Again, if anyone else, um, if we have a question, um, like I said, by all means, uh, shoot it out. Uh, otherwise, we will go ahead and in the call here so we don't drag it out too much more so are there any questions we've got like seven yes this is the best by far richie yeah richard richie rich most definitely forsage is knocking it out of the park so are there any questions we've got like 70 some odd people here now 60 something um are there any more questions that i have not answered yet uh preston says yeah we'll i'll actually upload this this is being recorded onto my hard drive so I'll put it up on my YouTube channel and uh, we'll make sure that we get it out to you Lotto will post it into the official um, Forsage marketing um, channel so you can see it there yeah Drikas. yeah right on man no questions means a great presentation well I hope so I hope I was able to um, do a decent job of, of, of being a presenter here and giving you guys all of the ins and outs of Forsage and why it is so awesome, most definitely. Um, it says, can we sync one account? Yeah, basically, here's a question from um, Peter, I guess. Petrio. Uh, sorry, I can't pronounce it. But anyways, though, what you, and I'll get to your question too, um, Duda. Then you essentially can uh, import your MetaMask over to well it's easier this way i mean it's a, it's a bit more difficult to try to 
import your MetaMask over to Trust Wallet. Um, it's actually much easier, or rather, I, I apologize. It's it's what I, it, I was actually right. It's easier to go from MetaMask and to take your private keys and then put them onto Trust Wallet as opposed to going Trust Wallet over to MetaMask. Um, but yes, you can import your um, your keys over, and so this way you can uh, have your wallets um, interchangeable. Because again, I do. I actually have um, a few accounts um, with because I as I experimented a few times with MetaMask uh, or with Forsage, and I do have my accounts um, both on my mobile and on my um, desktop on my laptop that I'm using. All right, so what's this here question? Hang on, let me get up to the question that dude had. What is a video marketing button? Um, I don't know. Maybe that's something that Lotto, maybe you can answer that um, if you want to come on and explain that. Because, yeah, I do know what you're talking about with the, let me type that in. Um, Once again, what's the question? So he was asking about the marketing, the video marketing here. And I oh, think on the, in, on the, on the site, uh, site is still preparing. Right. So it's inactive currently. If you press the button, it's inactive. Now, what will this end up being, Lada? Yes, yes, very soon. Okay, no problem. What now in terms of the video marketing, what type of videos will will go there? Uh, we're preparing now. It, it's not ready. <laughs> okay, no problem. So there, like in a not nutshell, everything will be smooth. In a nutshell, yeah, it's not it's not um, enabled yet. The button, obviously, and they are still, as you can see, this is a fresh, brand new landing page, which is again, I must say, beautiful uh, landing page at that. And you know, of course, it works much smoother. In fact, let me scroll down because I only show the very uh, top page there. Um, for people who haven't yet seen this, um, yeah, I mean, this is a much better version. Now, first of all, again, it does give you the options of, again, Russian, German, Spanish, French, Italian, um, soon to be Chinese, from what I understand. Um, we've got some people working on that. Now, yeah, again, this goes through a very nice, clean, you know, user interface in terms of the um, landing page. So again, when people use your link, it'll take them here. They can go through this and kind of get an idea about what's going on with the, with the different uh, things happening, the participants. Um, again, the newcomers, it's already moved up from the last time I just showed it on my account there. Um, the amount for this week, the amount of Ethereum that, like I said, it's about $2.5 million, ladies and gentlemen, um, that has been paid out to um, the members as a whole. Um, and then the amount earned during the week. So this that, for example, again, as we, if we click on these here, these are some of the, um, as you could say, members who are at the higher echelon of earnings. Um, but again, you know, this is just within a, some of these people have only been in this maybe, I don't know, a little over four weeks and they're already at these levels, right? So, I mean, this is what many people might make in a year. Definitely this right here. <laughs> this is what someone might have made in a year. Here you go right there. That's definitely near to, um, you know, what many people or above, well above what people make in a year. Again, this account as well, this account as well. So again, you know, these are some of the more, the higher top earners. Let me scroll on down. Yes goes through just a pretty uh not and it's nice and clean i love it i love it and again it explains uh, this is also i guess how you would if you wanted to uh, click on that let me click on this and see i think that's going to take me to the sign up page if i'm not mistaken or does it no it's not it's not active yet so again a lot of these things are still um kind of in a beta, <laughs> right and yeah they're in a beta phase so no problem no worries don't you guys go out there talking you know like, you know, uh, talking any kind of trash about the platform. This is a work in progress, at least with this brand new uh, landing page. And it's beautiful, as I said. So again, this goes through the explanation of how the uh, X3 works and how the X4 works as well. Uh, and again, uh, often asked questions. 
you can click on that. And again, you know, these are being um, added to. Um, but again, I'm I'm happy to see that it is here, even though it's not completely uh, done yet. But we can see uh, that they are definitely bringing some high quality uh, content here in terms of the user interface, or even here for the landing page. Yeah, <laughs> we got some drawings. Someone scribble scrabbling on the uh, on, on the Zoom call here. But hey, if you guys don't have any more questions. Yeah, I got a question for you. Yeah. Yeah, my name is Earl Dixon. They call me the Bitcoin man. I got a big team. That yeah, team. Earl, I've seen you over there. You're on um, on Mark Hamlin's team. Yeah, awesome, awesome. So, you know, a lot of times when we're, the first, the first question is, um, do you recommend people just going to a landing page without knowing how to up the wallet and stuff um to get kind of that's not recommended to go straight to send a person straight to that landing page no now again this landing page uh as you know it's it, it just was added uh i think yesterday or maybe two days ago at this point but you know when because again i'm learning in real time as well too i actually did a zoom call with my team um and just went through an example of putting in my um my affiliate link and it yeah. I, as you can see, it's a lot better than the previous landing page that we had, right? Which was a bit jumbled up when you put your user link or when someone, um, you know, was signing up, they would come to that page and the flags, they didn't, um, at least on mobile, they weren't showing properly. Um, and again, some of the translations were not exactly as clear. So I think that, I mean, again, due to the fact that this is such a pretty, um, you know, such a really nice, like clean inter or landing page, that you know, I would most definitely say that, and, and it works well. As you can see, I put in my um, here. Let's go back to, for example, when I put in this. Now I got a log. That's actually going to take me to my account, I think, if I hit enter because I, I haven't logged out. And that's another thing too to keep in mind that you do need to be sure that if you've already been looking at someone's account, you're going to need to log out. Yeah, because that, and I guess it's, it's actually not. Well, this is good because before what would happen was it would take pers uh, take a person to the uh, last page that they may have been um, looking at either through the, um, because there is a view mode only, which was confusing a lot of people as well. Um, but it seems as if, uh, if you have a fresh wallet, let me actually do this while I'm on with you now and click out of here and go to this open account that I have. And while you're doing this, keep this in mind, because that was another part of my question was, for a new person, when you go to sign a person up and you walk them through, and let's say for instance, you gave them your link. Um, I, I used to give them my link, but Mark recommended that you just take them to facade.io, and it says this link, and you give them your number, and they put your number in. So what is your best recommended way to sign a person up? Because for a while, we was using lk.facade.io. Um, um, we'll put that in front of the link, and it would take us to the page, and uh, we can sign in that way. But what is your recommended way to sign up a person as far as having to log in and log back out? Because sometimes when we log in, it goes to inside position zero, and you hit log out, and you hit log in again. Is that error or is what's going on there? So are we doing something wrong? Well, and again, like I said, I think this new uh, page is is changing. Um, it's kind of changing the uh, situation with that because, um, again, again, even with me being logged in here, let me see. I'm going to go through and see if I actually need to log out. Um, let me go back first and back out. Because no, it does take them to the LK um, site as before, as opposed to now it's just forsage.io, which I guess right. was previously the landing page too. But uh, let me see what happens if I sign, if I'm still logged in with my other account. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take me there. Let me log out and go to a fresh uh, account. Okay. Yeah, and again, my apologies, Earl, because again, I'm learn <laughs> doing this in real time, as I said, uh, and learning as well in real time uh what the okay. different uh ways of going about this are okay Cause, cause oh, you know, I, would think, I would i would think that if if you know if you copy your link and a new person who just created their wallet they got the ethereum in their no, wallet no. and they got the ethereum in their wallet and they copy the link 
your link and put your link in is that is that the most acceptable way and i know you're testing that now so I'm just yeah i think again that would be the best thing i mean just have them come to forsage uh, or rather have them use your link and then your link will actually now open up this um because well here let's let me do this again right quick just to show now by putting that link in there it automatically takes them to this landing page. Okay. Right. Okay. So, and then when I come over here to sign up, because this is, like I said, an open account that I don't have any Ethereum in, it takes okay. them to the landing page or it takes them to this sign up page that we're all familiar with. That's good. Right. And so when I click onto that, it seems that there's no issues. It goes right to, awesome. Awesome. to awesome. this. Yeah. Because if before, that's duplicatable, if that's duplicatable and it can continue to do that, that's awesome. Yeah, I agree, man, because there definitely was a few uh, issues and hiccups that people were having, you know, when coming into this and they were maybe because they were in view mode looking at someone else's account after they put in, uh, because you know how you can put in a member ID into that, um, yeah, that, mark, into, that into that area that then allows them to look at someone's account. And if they didn't log out, they would still be looking at uh, that old, you know, whatever the previous uh, page that they were looking at or someone's account that they were looking at but it seems yeah. now that if you come in here straight and then you hit the lot if they don't already have an account and then they yeah. come in here it just it should work as is as you can see that that brought up my um you confirmed the yeah, transaction MetaMask. MetaMask. yeah boom. Awesome. seems like you're good to go all right all if they right. have Thank money you. in their ethereum wallet they hit it and sign up now i, I don't have any ethereum, i don't have any wallet oh, i don't have any open wallets that or unused wallets rather that have um, Ethereum in that, but you know the process beyond this. You hit, you, they hit yeah. that confirm button, and then yeah. that, you know, like I said, it takes a minute, maybe, if even that. Yeah. Uh, and again, I recommend them to make sure they back out after that's happened, yeah. to take yeah. them back to this page, and then because they their transaction has been confirmed, uh, when they go to the login or automatic mm -hmm. login, and that'll take yeah. them right to their page. Awesome. All right. Thank you so much. Yeah, likewise, man. I appreciate it. Hello? Yeah, is this Joshua? Yes, yes. Uh, my name is Joshua from Tanzania. Welcome, welcome. Hello? You got a question, man? Thank you so much. For the, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for the nice presentation. Uh, maybe I can just add value on the previous uh, speaker. Uh, yeah, please. Uh, I've tried to use the, the new site today. It's very nice if you can use the new site. Very, very nice and uh, very, very user-friendly. Uh, my question is, for instance, uh, on Forsage times the three, if I direct sponsored someone, and uh, maybe, let's say I'm in level eight, and the one of my downline by default upgraded it to level nine, mm -hmm. Uh, is the sponsorship change forever? Or no, 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 no. It doesn't change forever. What happens is it will, once you buy that next income slot that they're at, for example, okay, then yes. once they start to, um, you know, continue, whatever, once their partners come in or whatever the case may be, then you are back at as far as being their superior. Do you understand? Okay. So that will happen on the on the next recycle. Exactly. That's what. If 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 I'm not mistaken, Lotto, if you're there, do you want to confirm that? Do you understand what he's asking? Yes, yes, that's right. That was the right answer. Okay. So if that yeah, if that helps you, Joshua, then um, then then great. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's a great question too. I mean, definitely that is you know there's some confusion. I'm sure people are concerned that they were going to lose their referrals if their referrals upgrade. But again, as long as you come back up to that level and when you do, then you will then start earning, um, you know, accordingly. I have another question also. Sure. Um, my question is, we see a lot of uh, amendments uh i know that is being done by the creator who is mr lado so what about the previous function loose can lado change the loose and function that he started them on the ethereum blockchain 
Well, again, the contract can't not, it can't be changed in terms of like its functioning um, abilities. And again, actually Lotto is not the, um, the, the only developer. This is actually a team of, of developers who have put Forsage together. Um, but again, the functions of the smart contract, you know, as I explained before in the beginning, maybe perhaps you didn't hear it, but again, you know, a smart contract by design, uh, once, it at, once it's been um, activated, on the in this case the ethereum blockchain it cannot be changed now the user interface and the website this is a different thing this is just like the um the clothes right this is just the skin or the face that you know we interact with the contract with now they can cha they can make changes to the website as you've already seen uh cosmetic changes to the website but the actual uh way that the contract is designed uh cannot be you know, altered. Okay. Thank you so much, bro. Yeah, sure thing. Did I answer Welcome your question properly, though? I'm sorry. Yes, thank you so much, bro. Welcome to Tanzania. <laughs> Maybe once. <laughs> Welcome to East Africa, bro. East yeah, Africa, man. we are on fire. We are on fire. Tanzania, we are on fire. All right, man. I'm glad to hear it. Good news. Okay. We're waiting for open order. Uh, okay, bro. We will catch up on, on, on Telegram. All right. Sounds good. Yeah, you're in the power team. Is that right, I think? Yeah? Pardon? Are you you're in the power team, I think? Team success. Ah, okay, okay. All right. But anyways, though, again, are there any other questions um, that we can yes. answer before we close this out? Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, yeah, Savannah. Yeah? Yeah, hi. Look, I have a, um, a couple of questions. My first question is relation into who is the, the market. What is your market for Forsage? Is it clearly defined or is it open to anyone and everyone? As far as I am aware, I mean, again, in, when you say the market, you know, it's anyone that has access to a smartphone or a desktop, you know, to be able to interact with the contract. Is that how you mean the market of people? Yeah because you have market segments, right, and who you who your product and or services pitch to. And given the low entry fee to get onto the platform, mm. I imagine that it is to cater to anyone and everyone. Yeah, I mean, that's one of the most attractive, like, aspects, at least for me. I mean, again, I actually uh, am a, I guess you call, I could call myself a YouTuber. Um, but again, this has been um, very attractive for a lot of people with respect to, getting people to actually, I guess you would say, convert, right? Converting someone who's just kind of kicking the tires into actually spending. Now, whether or not that's a different story about them upgrading and moving up, um, you know, accordingly, but, um, you know, they are, their membership is plugged in and they are plugged in with only having to spend right now, what, $7, right? So I think it's, it's really, it's an open uh, playing field with respect to getting people in from every, uh, walk of life, you know, I think. And of course, some people, you know, they do help, right? I mean, I've even sponsored myself. I've helped people to come into the program. Um, you know, I don't, I don't like to make a habit of doing that because we found that, you know, of course, once you sponsor someone in, they kind of, you know, they're thinking it's just going to be a, a coat tail walk kind of thing. But, you know, um, however, you know, again, at that low cost, um, it's really an attractive thing for, I think, anyone across the globe. Yeah, yeah, because I imagine that um, uh, trying to pitch to the world is is a monumental exercise and trying to capture a market that gets in on, on such a low entry fee without having requisite uh, education on, on many, in many respects, to be able to fully take advantage of this platform mm. and leverage on that. Um, so yeah, that's I think probably what will be the biggest challenge in trying to to assist the pe you know anyone and everyone rather than it being pitched having a having a laser targeted market that you really right. pitched. And of course, I mean it's a learning curve. A lot of people are apprehensive about coming into this, even who are willing to throw a thousand dollars into some passive income platform that you know may or may not be a great thing. But then, you know, with something like this, uh, the learning curve of for people who aren't, you know, like, like I said, even people who are seasoned 
passive income people. Um, I've had a lot of people who just, you know, turn their nose up at this because um, they're just not into smart contracts. They just don't get it. Or they've had, you know, unfortunate um, situations in the past with other smart contracts. But smart contracts, it, it, I think I had, I've had to re-explain to people that there are certain, um, a smart contract can be designed to do anything. I mean, it can be designed to cut the lights on in your house, if for that, you know, if, if for that matter. And again, um, the way that this one is designed, it has been structurally designed you know, very nicely. So, um, you know, people coming in that were in some other smart contract where they actually sent money into a Ethereum wallet, waiting for you know the coin that they bought up, you know, that they had to convert like their Ethereum into some coin. And then, you know, they got stuck with some coin that wasn't worth anything once they got dumped on. Um, but anyway, that doesn't happen here with Forsage. Uh, but I think the learning curve is, is you know, just something that everyone has to get around, whatever, um, you know, level of uh, familiarity, you know, with these kind of things are. Mm -hmm. I know my uh, okay. team, um, sorry. I know my team's approach um, having seeking to address all of those issues so that the retention rates remain high but also educating the people that do become a part of my team Absolutely. Um, so that I'm not doing the, them a disservice and at the same time also mitigating reputational harm that would be uh, a result of failing to provide the requisite knowledge and education to your team members, um, you know, to reduce the, to reduce the um, adverse effects that may result from that if the, if they are fully informed about what actually is required beyond spending your seven to ten United States dollars. And do you understand what market volatility is when you're measuring United States dollars against ETH? You know, and, and market, you, you've got liquidity as well. And what is what is market liquidity? And do you know the difference between the uh, crypto spaces and how do they correlate? And what are the fundamental and um, technical analysis components that will determine market volatility? Especially when you examine cryptocurrency, which is highly volatile in comparison to fiat. So not fully informing people that do become a part of this Forsage Matrix project, which I, I'm fully invested in, um, because to me it represents many things beyond just leveraging and stacking strategically. Um, mm. And that just comes from the multi, you know, the multidisciplinary academic background I have in these spaces. And then, of right. course, my own trading experiences. So I think... From, from my perspective, the uh, I think it's fantastic and I'd love to for the whole world to get involved in it because when we're in a different space compared to, you know, fiat currency, which is based predicated on fractional reserve banking practices, right? Um, to have people in that space, uh, which is, you know, decentralized, therefore no central authority, that is m what my... Um, it's, it's beautiful. I mean, it's, it's groundbreaking, no doubt about it. So on so, so many levels, um, it, it really is a force to be reckoned with. I mean, and again, this is why it's important to get as many people uh, educated, going back to what you're saying about making sure that people understand, um, because there's many aspects of cryptocurrency. I mean, again, just this getting into Forsage by itself is, is only one leg of this whole, uh, like many things in the world, you know, when you have a full spectrum understanding of what's going on. Um, but anyways, those, but yeah, no, I totally agree with you. Um, let me answer, I got a, a few more questions coming in, but yeah. I appreciate your, uh, input and insight though, uh, Suzanne. I got the one technical, one technical to yeah, ask Yeah, Earl, you. go ahead. Okay. So, you know, what, you know, we started out, I even got position 168 and we on like 18,000 people now. We like we found up a lot, about a thousand people a day now. When it comes to the server that this smart contract is running on, um, what do you, Aflato, where do you see us going as far as um, the server being maxed out? Do it have an impact or will we see any kind of um, slowdown as we get to two, three thousand people a day? Um, Lotto, if you want to, did you understand what he's asking about the server being maxed out in the, I guess, the website? Now, I know that you're saying that this new uh, interplanetary file systems uh, website, I'm not totally familiar with uh, not at all familiar actually with you know the um the base of that but uh can you answer his question on that lotto no 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 
uh, uh, about uh, well, his question was basically once we have many thousands of members is that going to slow the website no 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 i don't think <laughs> problem for us yeah because of course this is running on all the transactions are happening on a smart contract uh, on exactly, the yes. uh, all in smart contract mm. but the the website itself again i don't think again i'll have we'll talk with this behind the scenes about this uh the new interplanetary uh, file systems that this website is now based on um but at the okay. same time yeah to answer your question earl again i think that um, we're ready for very big traffic yeah me too <laughs> What do you say? What do you say? No, he said we're ready for a lot of traffic. Okay, awesome. That was my question, basically, because this thing is going to blow up. Um, no doubt. Just, yeah, we just we still at, we still at like day one with this thing. So uh, yeah, we've really only scratched the surface. I mean, again, I've seen you know uh, smart contracts that are uh, similar, not nearly as good as this, that have like already you know two hundred thousand something members, um, and so on. And then you know, unfortunately. Uh, because as Lotto had explained to me in the interview that we did, that you know that this is a true matrix as opposed to these others that they claimed were matrix matrixes, but they were delta uh, style um, cyclers that fizzled out based on the way that they were designed. So you know, once people start coming into this thing at a maximum rate, uh, or realize rather what's going on, people will start coming in at a, at a you know avalanche kind of uh, momentum. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Yeah, you got it, man. Hey, and then uh, Drikas was asking, um, how long has the contract been running? Um, it has been live since, I believe, February 6th, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, February 6th. Mm. Uh, hi. Hi, is this Tristan? Hey, how are yeah. you doing? I have a question for you. Why if uh, a registered person in the system and that person is waiting for the, for the passive income, he doesn't want to register another person, will he get the income, the passive income? Well, it works in that, I mean, again, I have, because based on my personal experience, I mean, someone can, you know, chime in if they'd like to on this, but, you know, effectively, if you're coming in um, and not using your, um, money coming in because spillover is is a fact here I and mean, again as i brought up during the presentation i had i've had a few people who've come in at level one um and it wasn't always the same it's not like again people can't come in expecting like oh i'm just going to come in and spend seven dollars and then you know just get mega rich now what happened for one person who came in in particular that they quickly um in terms of filling up the slots on x4 were able to upgrade. And they had asked me, like, what should I do? I was like, well, you should upgrade. That's what you should do. Make sure you use those funds to um, go to the next income stream, which is what he had done. And again, he's been able to, you know, over time as other people around him, because it was kind of, uh, you know, he was compelled to talk about it, uh, was able to get people in after that, right? It, once you started, uh, once you started having evidence that you could show people Hey, look, this is working. I've earned, you know, 0.5 Ethereum or uh, nearly uh, one Ethereum so far, uh, just from spillover. Uh, that, you know, and and hopefully using that. Uh, now, of course, people aren't forced to use their Ethereum, and again, it's your decision whether you upgrade or not. But you will also fizzle out, as I, as Joshua uh, was asking before, I believe, that it will um, it will stay it will stall out after two recycles if you don't upgrade. And again, people fall into a situation where, yeah, if they don't, you know, take action and get involved in the contract themselves, um, then you know they become kind of a, a lost soul in this whole mix. Oh yeah, I understand now. And I have one more question. Sure. Uh, when you register a person below you, two generation up will get the commission, right? When you register a person below you, what again? Yeah, two generations up will get the commission, 50% of their investment. Um, it depends. I mean, again, when you say that two people, I mean, because if you're talking about on X4 uh, is, is what you're meaning. Uh, the yeah, first, X3 and X4. Yeah, but on X3, you will receive the payment unless it is your third, uh, unless, it, unless that referral fills up the third slot. 
which you're receiving the payment, but you're having to use that payment to reactivate that income slot. And on X4, I mean, again, one and two, they will end up going to a uh, superior partner, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it is the partner above you. It could be actually uh, to a partner to the left or to the right of you who's actually on, on your team, potentially. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, the way that the spillovers spillovers work out, it's, it doesn't always necessarily mean, even though those arrows show, um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to drag this out too much because I guess we've already probably gone nearly, I don't know, an hour and a half to two hours. Um, but again, you know, of course, we will do more of these Zoom calls and get more into details like that. But of course, we can, <laughs> with so many people, you know, kind of curious about where the payments are going or how exactly do my payments, uh, well, payments that are filling up my X4, um, and we can talk about that on another Zoom call about how uh, to um, to follow, you know, the, the breadcrumb, so to speak. Okay, thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. My pleasure. Um, but hey, guys, I think I'm going to go ahead and if there aren't any more um, you know, pertinent questions to ask, then we'll close it up as to not drag this out too much. I think we've lost uh, <laughs> a good amount of people, but it's good to see that we still have 40 something people on the call. Uh, but hey, again, it is definitely my pleasure uh, to have you know been able to be your presenter uh, for this uh, first official Forsage Zoom call. And yeah, it'll be the first of many more to come. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, bro.